Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, episode 2 for this short little series we're doing here. And uh, we left off last time. We added two new rides. We've got the bumper cars going, the merry-go-round, and uh, we we're kind of going through and just deleting some stuff. The food court's set up, so we're sitting pretty good here. Let's just take a look at the bumper cars real quick. Okay, a buck fifty. I just wanted to make sure that I actually had something going on here. Now, I don't think I like how this path is kind of jarring away up there. I think I'm going to change that. Let's go with this. Then I can delete these. I am losing money on this, but I just did not like the way it looked, actually. Like that. I'm going to have to go like this the whole way down. That kind of sucks. Okay. Let's just do it and get it over with. The pain is unbearable. Is it going to rain again? Oh, we've had some bad luck right now with weather. It's just raining all over our park. I think I want to add a roller coaster here in the center, but I don't know if I'm ready for a roller coaster yet. What if I take a look and see? What else do we have? We've got rides like this. Ooh, the pirate ship and the twist. The pirate ship is always a uh, classic. It might not be a bad idea to put that down maybe somewhere over the water just because that would kind of look really cool, especially being the pirate ship theme. I'm thinking like maybe right here. Um, that actually puts it in the water. I don't want it in the water. I want it somewhat out of the water like that, I think. That would look nice, except how do I want to do the entrance and exit? I think I'll do the entrance right here. Exit could be on the other side, but I think I'll keep the exit true and put it right there. Some Sometimes people like to get back on rides that they got off, so I try to keep the entrance somewhat close enough that they don't have to walk too far. Uh, to come back to their favorite ride. Pirate Ship 1 has no path. Oops, ah, I opened it up without any path. Okay, let's quickly put this down then. Let's go like this and like this. That'll do it. Then we're going to have this come off like that. That leaves room for plenty of other stuff, and then we'll go like that. Okay, so now people have the ability to get to that ride, which is good. And uh, people should start heading over there shortly. Uh, lots of money is being spent. That is great. But we are uh, losing money, actually. Park values at $30,000. Um, we are not. We don't have any loans taken out yet, which is good. But we're not making any money. Where are we losing money? Staff wages, research, uh, loan interest. I guess I do... I can pay back some of the loan. That'll cut back on some of the interest. Let's pay back 2000 of the loan. Staff wages, okay. Food and drink, but it's starting to... We're going to start making money back on that. Uh, same with shop stocks. I think we'll make money back on that. And landscaping has cost me a lot of money, so let's just not touch landscaping for a second. Um, let's actually go into here and make sure we are making our money back. I think the map prices will raise to uh, 80 cents. However, we will keep the umbrellas at a uh, 250. Oh, this one's not even open. Ooh. Did not notice that. It's open now. They're both open, right? Okay, so we were losing money with this one, but now we should start gaining money. Uh, that'll help us out a lot. Okay, fantastic. All very good things. All right, I can start removing a couple of other things. I am making money when I go through and remove some of this stuff. So that is always good. Oh, the trees actually don't give me money. I lose money when I remove the trees. Oop. Um, so that's going to cost me a nice penny when I go to remove all these trees. And I don't get anything back for these fences, so I guess it's fine. Slowly going through and kind of removing things. I don't want to remove all these trees because it will be very expensive, so I'm just going to miss... I'm, I'm not going to worry about those for now. They will have to be removed over time. The building, however, I can make money off of that, so let's get rid of the building. Okay, and we'll leave it at that. Things are looking pretty good. Let's uh, fix this over here because it looks kind of weird like this. Uh, Going to cost me a little bit of money, but that's okay. I'm willing to spend the money to get it fixed. Okay, there we go. Looks good. 
All right, we can take a look again at our profits. 241 guests. We're definitely going to end up um, reaching our goal very, very easily. Um, it's already June of year one. Um, and we have almost half of what we need. And I believe the park rating is perfectly fine as well. Uh, we can actually take a look. A uh, rating of at least 600, and our park rating is at 797. And it's only going up, so we're going to be perfectly fine. We're definitely going to reach uh, reach our goal, um, which is good. What do we want to add on now? Uh, things are going to start getting somewhat expensive. It looks like we have we have a shop slash stall coming. The corkscrew, uh, corkscrew roller coaster is complete. Uh, we could put another roller coaster down. That would make us a lot of money. I think if I could fit one somewhere in here, like this mini roller coaster. Uh, but I have to find one that's not too expensive because they are generally expensive. This one looks good. But it's around $6,000. Uh, roller coasters are extremely expensive. I could turn the scenery off. Let's take a look at another roller coaster. How about the junior roller coaster? 3,000 for the 3,000 for this one's not bad. Now, I could build my own roller coaster. I'm not very good at it. Um, still, though, probably something I, I might do. Uh, but I just don't think it's something I should do yet. Okay, it will fit right in here uh, with no issues. I think that's a good idea. Just get this junior roller coaster down for now. Uh, I think that'll help bring some money in. I can actually put it a little bit over the top, which kind of looks nice. Uh, like this. Okay, that's going to make me broke for the time being. There we go. So your park has received an award for being the tidiest park in the country. Awesome. Our park is very, very clean. Okay, admission price for $2. So hopefully this thing will make its money back. I guess we'll have to find out. Uh, log. I guess I'll stick with the ladybird. I do not like the colors, of course. So we're going to go to our standard colors. That looks really nice, I think. That looks nice. I do not like the jungle entrance, so we'll stick with the plane. Okay, and as, this, as you can see, this is all kind of like suspended up. So we've got to uh, have it come down. So let's do... Uh, We'll go like this, like that, have it come down. I think this will be more than enough. I think that'll be fine. I don't see any issues with that. Let's take this and do the same thing over here. I got to make sure that I actually make it. See, because I'm, I'm bumping into things. It's a problem. Okay, it looks like I can go right under that. Interesting. Okay, I'll take that then. Let's try this. Can I? No, I can't. So I'll have to go straight one, down. Let's go. I could go. No, they won't reach if I go straight down unless I tore all this path up and redid it, which is a possibility. But if I go... Or go straight, down, straight, down. Nope, it's bumping into the roller coaster. Okay, I could go down again. Let's do this then. Not an issue. We will just... Oop. Wrong thing. We will just remove this, which is something I planned on doing anyways. Actually. Like that. That looks a little bit better. There, and then we can just... Okay, I started it on the wrong. I started it on the wrong path. Let's try this again. There we go. Just like that. 
We'll come all the way down and straight. There we go. Looks good. You can even go like that. It looks like removing these and then placing them. Let's see. If I remove it, I get 10 back and it costs me 16 to place a new one. So I guess it doesn't matter if I go over the top or not. It's all really the same difference. Okay, so we'll stick with it like that. Okay, now I want to get this ride open as fast as possible. Interesting. How did he get in there? He shouldn't be able to walk in there when it's closed. See, they, they usually stop right there, but he went all the way in. That's weird. All right, let's let's uh, let's do a... Let's just open it right up. I already know it's going to work because it's one of the pre-built coasters, or at least it should work. Um, and hopefully two coasters will do it. Now, people should hopefully start flying over here to do this uh, because uh, this is generally, any type of roller coaster is generally pretty popular. Uh, we're very low on money now, so we're going to have to wait a little bit and just wait for some income to pour in. I could take loan back out, I guess. Uh, $15 really wasn't that bad, um, but I did want to somewhat pay it off. Uh, the value is, as you can see, we did lose a lot of money last quarter because or not quarter but last month because we bought the roller coaster but i think we're starting to make our money back a little bit i could potentially throttle back on research um but let's see the difference right now is only 463 staff wages is costing us a good amount we're still getting hurt on the shop stock even the food and drink is not really getting any better but hopefully people will start spending some money there to make up the difference. Let's take a look at the shop stock. Uh, T-shirt prices are pretty expensive. We don't seem to be making any profit. Oh, it's not open. See, that's the problem. I must have forgot to open. Let me make sure these are all open. Okay, they are now. Let's just wait and see now if it balances itself out. Because that, I think, was a lot of the issue. Game is somewhat loud again. Let's turn it down. I think that was some of the issues that people, I was stocking, things were being stocked up, but people weren't actually, um, people weren't actually buying it because it wasn't open. See, now I'm making profit on this. Okay, good. Now, as you can see, some guests have been puking coming off the pirate ride, uh, which is expected. It is a pretty crazy ride. So let's put some, let's make sure we got some more trash cans down. Uh, actually, I wanted to put it near the exit like so. And then maybe another one here. Let's get some trash cans down over on this side of the park now. Especially uh, near the exit of this. And then we'll put a couple benches down as well. Just put some benches right here. Maybe some here. There we go. There you go. So as you can see, the, the uh, goat carts are pretty popular. People are pretty much rushing to get in there. Uh, we can take a look real quick and see what that award was we got. Go right here and do award. So, Tidiest Park Award. Awesome. Now, let's actually grab our janitor since he's just wandering around over here. We'll drop him down over here and he'll actually walk through and sweep up all this vomit that's on the ground. Uh, and now that I got the trash cans there, it shouldn't be as much of an issue. We may have to drop a second janitor too soon, but I'm just waiting to see if we fix this balance. Uh... Food and drink stocks. Let's take a look at our food and drink and make sure we're making money back on that. Which one of these is not making us money? One of them is definitely going broke. Okay. The coffee shop. I expect the coffee would probably not be making any money. Actually, we're not making money on any of this. 19 and 17. Hmm. It might be because of the way I have these facing. See, sometimes if I got these facing this way, people are all walking up and down this way. And they're not really walking past this place. People are buying food. The coffee's definitely, out of all of it, the coffee's definitely the thing that's killing me. Let's delete the coffee for now. Make that money back. And then let's see if these ones balance themselves out. Let's raise the hot dogs to a buck twenty. Uh, the burgers at a buck fifty, I think, are fine. And then drinks. Let's do a buck fifty for drinks as well. See if that makes back some money. 
We can actually take a look at our guests and get a good idea for what they're feeling as well. So a lot of them are walking, they're at the queues, they're sitting, leaving the park, heading for merry-go-rounds, heading for rowing boats. Alright. We can see their thoughts, see what people are thinking. Dodgems 1 is really good value. I want to go on something more thrilling, really good value. So people think that my rides are really good value, uh, which is good for two reasons. It means that uh, people think the rides are pretty cheap, and it also means that I could probably raise the price of some of these rides and not really feel too much of an effect on it. So maybe just 10 cents on that one, which could make me a couple more bucks. Let's do 20 cents. Let's do 10 cents. This one I think will be fine. Two bucks is fine. It's already making $200 for us. And then this one is really a really lazy ride, so I'll just keep it at a dollar. <clears throat> so it's good to kind of raise everything by a few cents because that can make the difference between, you know, 20 bucks to 100 bucks a month. So definitely something we want to do. Let's go through and delete some more of this path here that is helping us earn some money back. Um, I'm basically using the extra path I'm deleting as a way to fund myself for replacing all the pathing, so uh, by going through and deleting this, I'm essentially paying for the new path I'm going to place, uh, since there is so much extra path just laying around here. Okay, and people are puking, and they're not really puking in the trash cans, which I pretty much expected. Oop! Here we go. Where is our janitor? I'm just going to kind of pick him up and move him to the dirty spots of the park for now because uh, going through and actually hiring more janitors is just more expensive than me moving him around every now and again. Alright, other than that, things were looking pretty good. I think I might throw another ride down what is it august so we're almost coming up on year uh on, a, on one year or not one year but almost up to Aug uh, october which will give us one more year left a hedge maze isn't a bad idea N uh, neither is this slide because i could put this slide right over here what is it 330 yeah why don't we put this slide down somewhere over here as well we can catch people coming out of the uh bumper cars with this slide Let's put it here. We'll make the entrance right here because we'll catch people coming out of the bumper cars. And we'll put the exit right here. Maybe people will go into the bumper cars uh, if they come down this way. Always got to think about that stuff. So we can go like that. Grab our path here. Let's. This usually isn't that popular of a ride, so you don't need to go uh, crazy with the pathing. Um, in fact, that's even too more than I would like. We'll just go like that. All right, let's uh, see. Is it open? It is open. Max people on ride will change to four so we can push people through as quick as possible. Go with our Halloween themed colors. I didn't even think about it. It, it makes sense to go with Halloween anyways since um, we do win the game on October. So kind of funny how that worked out. Uh, buck fifty is more than enough. Letting four people slide at a time will actually uh, uh, probably keep this queue very short. Is it, can I actually increase the maximum amount of cars? I can't. Twelve is the maximum. Uh, time limit one minute. I guess I'll keep it at that. It's just that the line is so long. This is really the bumper cars are always so popular. Let's go to a buck eighty. Uh, just squeeze a little bit more money. Are we making a profit yet? We are. We are making a uh, considerable uh, amount of money now, actually. We're, pu we're pulling in a lot of money. Um, we'll start paying off the loan a little bit here and there uh, just to get rid of because the loan interest as is actually sitting around about 60, 48. So it looks like 48 after we paid it off a little bit. Uh, so we will kind of work on that. Uh, food and drink stock is starting to fix itself. Um, Shit. Shop stock, not so much. The rides are really making me the money. The shops are definitely not, but I guess that's expected. I, very rarely do the shops actually make you uh, money. 
Uh, the profit's good on that, though. What isn't making me money, then? This. The balloons are definitely not making me money. Let's lower the balloons to 60. Uh, that'll give us a profit per item of 30. The running cost is really high, but I'm hoping that more people will buy balloons. Let's see if that works. If not, then I may just have to close the balloon stall down. This is also not making me any money, so let's lower it. Oh, boy, I want to keep some profit. Let's just, well, 30, and we'll go for a 40 cent profit and see if that helps. All right, but we're going to leave off here. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you next time.